Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're doing a BYOP, that's build your own palette video, but I'm doing things a little differently. Instead of choosing one palette and going through the whole process of building it, I'm going to cruise through the new releases on Sephora. No idea why the Soft Glam palette is on here. That's clearly not a new release. A bunch of these aren't new, and a bunch of these are really, really neutral. But anyway, we're going to go through the quote unquote new section and I'm just going to pick out a few palettes and try to use my existing collection of eyeshadow singles to recreate those palettes. Now, a lot of these are going to be either discontinued or out of stock of my singles, I mean. So the point of this isn't for you to go out and buy all of these singles and exactly recreate this because first of all it's not possible second of all it'll, it's more expensive to use singles than to just buy the palettes so the point of this is really just to encourage you to play around with your own collection even if you don't have a big collection of singles you can use shadows from existing palettes and see if you can rearrange what you already have to create the color stories that you're seeing in these newer palettes it's also just fun to play with the things that are already existing in your collection and maybe combine them in a new way to draw a new inspiration from them. And maybe some of the palettes that we look at today, you have one or two shades that you're interested in, but you don't want to purchase the whole palette. Then, you know, maybe these types of videos can point you towards some singles that will help you just get those shades that you're interested in instead of diving into a whole palette that you're really not that excited about. Now at first I thought I would do this Natasha Denona retro eyeshadow palette. I've done quite a few BYOP videos with Natasha Denona palettes and they're usually more complex than they seem like they're going to be. So I may do this retro palette in its own video and show you the whole process because I do like this color story and I think it would be fun to recreate, but it's probably not exactly right for this video today. One I am really drawn to for today's video is a definitely a newer palette and one that I'm surprised to see well, kind of surprised to see, is already so deeply discounted, and that's this Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. I don't have this palette myself. I don't think that it got great reviews, and so I think I can recreate something similar or maybe that I even like a little bit better. I like the idea of this Neutrals and Greens palette, but I just think it's a little bit on the bland side, especially if you're going to have wild in the name. I wish that they would have done something a little bit more wild. So I am going to try to recreate this color story myself using a bunch of my ColourPop single shadows. And I'm going to try to get as close as I can to the existing color story. But my green single shadow collection isn't massive, so I'm just going to have to do the best I can with what I have. And in the end, I think I ended up coming up with a color story that I like just slightly, slightly better because there are so many warm neutrals, warm peachy, brown, gold, and it just, I don't know, it's a little bit blah for me. When we're talking about wild greens, I would have liked to see some more interesting shades paired with these greens, but I ended up going a little bit more cool toned with my greens, and I think that's interesting paired with these warmer neutrals. I also pulled a couple of shifty duochrome type shades for my green shadows, and I think that adds a level of depth and interest to the palette too. I can't really tell from the Urban Decay photos if any of these are duochromes. I, I kind of hope they are because I do think that this palette color story is just a little bit 
flat for me, just my little humble opinion. Like I said, I don't have the actual palette in hand, so maybe it's more inspiring and more interesting in person, but I really like the idea of this cooler green twist paired with those peachy neutrals. First, I'll just show you how my color story swatches came out, and I think this looks pretty cute. Again, it's not the wildest of greens, but I think that some of those shifty shades added a level of interest to the palette. And then when you see it compared to the actual Urban Decay swatches, it looks pretty similar to me. I think you can get some pretty similar eye looks here, but I do like my last three greens a little bit better. I just like a little bit more depth and a little bit more visual interest with that duochrome shade, but overall, I think it's pretty darn close if you ask me. Now, let's move on to another palette that I really wanted to recreate. This is from a brand that I haven't had a lot of luck with their formulas, but I really, really love this color story, and that's this Violet Voss Sweet Violet Fun Size Eyeshadow Palette. I really like their color stories, but I've tried just a handful of their palettes and they haven't been that great for me personally. Again, I don't have this one. Maybe this one is new and improved and perhaps it's fantastic, but I definitely have these colors already in my collection. So I'm going to use quite a few ColourPop shadows and I'm also going to grab a couple of my Lethal Cosmetics shadows to build out this color story. I love, love purple eyeshadow. I like the combination of these bright pinks and purples with just a little pop of neutral there to help ground out some of the looks. I would definitely use this palette to create some super fun looks that I can absolutely see myself wearing just in my everyday life because I am so drawn to these purple shades. Unfortunately, I think quite a few of the purple single shadows from ColourPop have been discontinued or out of stock for a really long time, but I do want to point out this Lethal Cosmetics shade that I'm about to show next, this one called Spirit. It is one of the prettiest blue, purple, blurple, if you will, shadows that I have ever seen. I love this color. Anytime I can put this into a custom palette, I automatically feel like it adds such a gorgeous purpley pop of color. And that one is still available as far as I know. So I highly, highly recommend the Lethal Shadow in the shade Spirit. It's definitely one of my all-time favorite purple shadows and it definitely feels really really special. When we're looking at these shadows particularly when you see them swatched all on my arm I think it does read a little bit basic because it is a m very monochromatic color story but when I was scrolling through the Sephora new palette section this is one of the few actually bright color stories that really popped out to me. I tried to choose the most colorful palettes that I could just so that I wasn't making four neutral palettes here. So this may look like your run-of-the-mill purple palette if you are like me and you are into purple palettes, but overall this is definitely one of the more bold options available in the new palette section right now. So. Hopefully we see some more color soon because this is a fun color story. I feel like I did a pretty decent job recreating it and I would love to see some more bold, bright color stories. We're gonna just do our best here to find something else interesting. For me, I landed on the Pat McGrath Hutopian palette. It's the Mothership Nine Hutopian Dream Palette, and this is a lot of neutrals, but it does have a few bright pops of color, and it has some really shifty multi-chrome shades, which is what drew me into this color story. Pat McGrath shadows are always 
so sparkly, so beautiful, definitely have a very special feeling. So this is a fun one to try to recreate. And I ended up drawing out some of my Cleona Cosmetics single shadows to really capture these beautiful sparkly shifty shades. So this palette will actually be a combination of Cleona singles, ColourPop singles, and a Lethal Cosmetics shadow as well. One of their multi-chromes is just the perfect shade here. I'm going to do my very best to capture the shifts on these shades because it's really hard to tell. They look so different even in person. So trying to capture them on camera feels like an impossible task sometimes. But this one in particular was really fun to recreate and had me covered in sparkles by the end from all the different swatches that I was doing, trying to check the shifts. And this is a very special palette, the Utopian Dream original one. Yet again, not one I have myself in hand in person, but you can just tell from the swatches online and the little swatch videos that Pat McGrath has posted that these shades are absolutely stunning, very difficult to capture because of the shifts. So I really just had to do my best to try to match them as closely as I could. And this shade in particular, the Cleona shade Royalty, it looks really different from the Pat McGrath shade in the pan, but in the swatch, it was the closest one I could find. So this process is just a balance between what the appearance in the pan looks like and what the appearance on the skin looks like. If this is something you're interested in trying at home, recreating your own color stories, I highly recommend looking at a bunch of different swatch photos from the palette you're trying to recreate and really swatching a bunch of your shadows to get a feel for the right color story because what something looks like in the pan is not always indicative of what it's going to look like once it's applied, especially if you're looking at really shifty, sparkly, duochrome, multi-chrome type of shades. Like when you see these, I think it looks pretty similar here with the full studio light, but I'm also going to show you a turned down version with just the overhead lighting because I think that's more similar to the lighting that's in the picture. It's a little bit darker and has more of that golden cast to it and you can see how different this looks in this lighting. The very last palette I'm going to do is the one that I think is the least inspiring color story but this is something I think I can easily recreate and I think I can actually recreate this palette for cheaper with my singles which is not often the case typically buying the whole palette is the less expensive option but because this palette is just so pricey on its own this is the bridal satin palette from Visart? Viziart? I don't know. I'm sure somebody will correct me. One of those. It's the Bridal Satin Palette and it's priced at $80 for 12 little shimmery eyeshadows. You could definitely recreate this palette for way less using ColourPop singles. I know a lot of these particular shades that I'm showing are probably discontinued shades because that's always what happens in these videos, but when you see the swatches, this is almost the exact same palette. The only one that I end up changing is the shimmery black shade at the end. I'm going to do two purples at the end because I don't have anything other than like a glittery black shade. So I did make a slight tweak to this, but overall the color story will be so similar. It's I think that it turned out really well. I had a lot of fun creating all four of these palettes. It was a great day to just swatch and play and look at different images online of other people's swatches and just have a good time revisiting my single shadows. This is the type of video, this is the type of project that really keeps me using my collection and 
flexing my makeup muscle in a different way. So I had fun doing this and doing kind of a different take on my typical BYOP video. I would love to do more videos like this. So let me know if you're interested in this process. I'll still show my process of building BYOP videos as well because that's also very fun. But I think this was a good way to show a bunch of different palettes all in one without having an hour-long, long-winded video. So let me know if you're interested in this, if you want to see more videos like this, if you have requests for particular palettes that you want to see recreated in this way. I'm always interested in making videos that are fun and helpful for you. So let me know which BYOP videos would be the most fun and helpful for you. Let me know all your thoughts on my different recreations here down in the comments below. And of course, let me know which palettes you want to see me recreate, dupe, pseudo dupe next. I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, you didn't think I was going to leave without saying I love your face, did you? No, I'm not going to. I love your face so much. Thanks for watching. You're the coolest, cutest, bestest person ever. Okay. Bye for real this time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.